hi i just want to let god's people know um to not worry don't worry and don't get discouraged um some of us feel like god you have no problem coming after us correcting us rebuking us teaching us disciplining us but lord what is up with these people what is up <laughs> What is up and what, what is happening in the world? And he wants to let you know he sent people to these people. He sent people. They are not listening. But he is going to do away with them. He is going to punish them. Okay? He sent people. But these people are so rebellious. They are so evil and cold-hearted that they are not listening. They do not care. He has sent personal people that are amongst them every day almost. Sometimes he has sent people on the job, sent people in, in, the, in the world, sent friends, family. These people are not listening. They're not listening. They are ignoring the prophets and servants that are being sent to them. Jeremiah 25, 4 through 6. Don't think he don't see them. He see everything. Again and again, the Lord has sent you his servants. The Lord, my bad, I'm sorry. Again and again, the Lord has sent you his servants, the prophets. But you have not listened or even paid attention. Each time the message was this. Turn from the evil road you are traveling and from the evil things you are doing. Only then will I let you live in this land that the Lord gave to you and your ancestors forever. Do not provoke my anger by worshiping idols you made with your own hands. Then I will not harm you. But you would not listen to me, says the Lord. You made me furious by worshiping idols you made with your own hands, by bringing on yourselves all the disasters you now suffer from. And now the Lord of heaven's army says, because you have not listened to me, I will gather together all the armies of the north under King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, whom I have appointed as my deputy. I will bring them all against this land and it's my people and against I will bring them all against this land and its people and against the surrounding nations. I will completely destroy you and make you an, ob an object of horror and contempt and ruin forever. I will take away your happy singing and laughter. The joyful voices of, of bridegrooms and brides will no longer be heard. Your millstones will fall silent and the lights of your homes will go out. The entire land will become a desolate wasteland. Israel and her neighboring lands will serve the king of Babylon for 70 years. Then after the 70 years are over, I will punish the king of Babylon and his people for their sins, says the Lord. I will make the country of the Babylonians a wasteland forever. I will bring upon them all the terrors I have promised in this book. All the penalties announced by Jeremiah against the nations many nations and great kings will enslave the babylonians just as they enslaved my people i will punish them in proportion to the suffering they caused my people they will not get away with what they did to you when these people go for a new job people are going to mistreat them on their job when these people go for new relationships people are going to mistreat them in their relationships when these people try to find new opportunities new places of water they will find dry desert land they won't find anything they're going to be calling lord 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 don't you see what they're doing to me but he's going to be like don't you see what you, you remember what you did to my people remember what you did to my child remember how you treated your family member Remember how you treated those children? Remember how you just flat out disrespected me and my people? They're going to be calling out, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, why aren't my finances getting any better? Lord, why isn't my health getting any better? Well, remember when you kept messing with my people's health? Remember? Remember when you wouldn't help my people? Remember when you kept blocking their finances? Remember when you were rude and nasty? All the things you kept throwing up in their face? Remember when you had a heart of unforgiveness? Of bitterness? Remember the moments you had rage, envy, hatred, jealousy against my people? Remember those moments? 
He says, I will punish them in proportion to the suffering they cause my people. That's what he's going to do. So, people of God, pray for them. Pray that they turn to God and repent. Seriously. Seriously.